I have a complicated relationship with tracking calories and diet plans. On the one hand, I can really see the advantage of setting goals, becoming a bit more mindful about what you're putting into your body, and just generally putting a bit of structure into your weight loss journey. But on the other hand, I really have a problem with obsessively counting individual calories, of faffing around with MyFitnessPal and putting in every single little ingredient. It really just takes the fun out of life and really is something that I do not enjoy doing. It's not only boring, I also actually think it's quite damaging because if we can't rely on our own intuition to inform what we should be eating and we're completely dependent upon a system, then it's really just not a healthy place to be. You want a system that's going to support you with your weight loss or muscle building goals, not something that's just going to dictate exactly what you should be doing. That's why I took to my favorite tool, Notion, to build a diet tracker that really works for me and could work for you as well. It's something that's lightweight, that's easy to use, and gives me the information I need without governing every single morsel of food that I should be eating. Hey you guys, how's it going? For those new to the channel, my name's Tom, and here we talk about how you can use Notion to solve real life problems. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, bang subscribe, and you're gonna be notified when I release new weekly videos. Today, we're gonna to be talking through a diet tracker that I've developed using Notion. There's also gonna be a template to this pinned in the comments, so be sure to check that out. And yeah, let's just get right into the system itself. So you can see the system is split into these three different sections. First, we have the target, then we have the calories for the day, and finally, we have different meals. So the target itself, pretty self-explanatory, but you can get as detailed as you like. I personally just aim for a amount of calories per day and a amount of uh, protein, but you might want to further break this down into carbohydrates and fats as well. It's really whatever works for you. The calories are something we're going to explore in a bit more detail later in the video and it actually ties directly into the meals. Now when you look at most fitness trackers, they generally don't do things on a meal basis, they tend to do them on an ingredient basis. So if I'm on my fitness pal, I'll build up a list of ingredients that then make up that meal. And then maybe I can save this meal, but it becomes a bit faffy and it can get you into this mentality that every single little detail of everything that you're consuming in a day has to be tracked. I personally think it's much more healthy to think about things in terms of a meal and the calories that make up that meal. And the reason that I do it this way is generally I don't actually cycle between that many meals in a particular week or a month. I've got maybe five or six go-tos and I add them into Notion. I put in the calories in here, I put in the protein, I put in the carbs, I put in the fat, and then it's stored there for me to access whenever I need it. The best thing about Notion as well is I can also combine the calories and the carbs with the method for cooking and also the ingredients as well. So what you might want to do is just add in a few of these meals yourself. I've got obviously like some curries in here. I've got some tuna pasta bakes. I've also got the Old Faithful protein shake. But the idea here is that you just want to build up a database of meals that you enjoy and that you eat frequently. And it's just going to become very easy for you to now track your calories based on this. So what we're making use of here is a, the relational database feature in Notion combined with the roll up to count the calories that you're gonna be eating on a particular day. So all that happens is I come into the date and let's say I wanna know how many calories I've eaten today. I add January the 15th as the date today. And what this column here is doing is that it's relating to the database of meals. And then all I can do now is add in the different meals that I've eaten. So today for lunch, I had eggs with salmon. Then I had my avocado wrap. And tonight I haven't eaten it yet, but I'm gonna be eating a tuna pasta bake. So all I need to do is add those three meals in. And then these calories, the protein, the carbs, and the fats, are gonna be automatically calculated. And this is done through Notion's roll-up feature. Now, all a roll-up does is it takes different properties in, for example, this relational database, and then it applies a logic to them. So what I'm doing here is I'm rolling up the meals section and I'm counting the calories of the meals. So within here, the amount of calories in them. And then I'm doing a sum of all of the different calories in these particular meals. And then this example 
exact logic is also applied to protein, carbs, and fats. So really just an incredibly simple system. I just add in the meals, I add in the calories, and then everything is here for me to see. Now for the calorie counter, I've got in obviously the today view, and all this does is it filters where the day is today. So tomorrow that's gonna be reset and there'll be a blank sheet for me to start on. But I can also change this to the calendar view. And what this allows me to do is just look back over the last few days and see you know, roughly how many calories I've eaten. I know that I'm around that 2000 calories mark. I know that I'm generally hitting that 150 grams of protein. And for me, that's enough. I don't need anything like super specific. I don't need anything super detailed. This just is the perfect combination of being informed about what you're eating without being so dependent on relying on knowing every single little ingredient that you're eating. So that's it, that's my really simple diet tracker on Notion. I find it works really well for me because it, you know, it allows me to be informed about what I'm eating, it allows me to get a sort of big picture understanding of what's going into my body without obsessing over the tiny little details of every single ingredient that I'm eating. But I'm really curious to hear how do you use diet trackers? Do you use MyFitnessPal? Do you find it really useful to track every single calorie? Or are you a bit like me and can find it a little bit overwhelming? I'll also obviously leave a link to this template in the description so you can check that out if you want. But thanks a lot and enjoy the rest of your day.